Okay, here we are on 5101 Blacknell in Sanford. Beautiful neighborhood. Tree covered street, big oaks everywhere. It's actually quite quiet and well maintained lawns. This is the property. Let's go take a look. We've got some pretty mature oaks right out front. Grass is in great condition, driveway is in great condition. It's a long driveway, so you could probably fit, I would say, four cars comfortable in the driveway before you even go into the garage. The roof looks fairly new. We can get the date for you. They love America. Nice stonework. It's a little paver courtyard area here. Tiles are 12 inch tiles. We have right off to the right is the dining room. It is carpeted, carpet's in great shape, but it is carpet with tray ceilings. I'm gonna turn around show you the entrance. So this is our entrance. We've got some built-ins, some shelvings. So we go into this room right on the left here. It's an office. We've got some laminate floors. This room appears to be connected to your master. So this is the master bathroom. Got some vaulted ceilings. We've got a theme of green going. There's the water closet. Frameless glass on the shower. It's a nice big shower. There's a fan in here, but you could easily just take that out. There's plenty of lighting without it. These tiles are 12 inch white tiles. And once again, we transition back to laminate. So this is our master. It's a vaulted ceiling. That's a king size bed for your reference. And the master has sliders. Sliders that go out to your patio pool deck. Let's take a look at the closet space. So this is one closet. And here's our second closet, which is uh, just standard, not non-walking closet. <clears throat> so here we are again, just so you can see, there's the office on the front that has a door through the bathroom into the master. So this would be our main family room. 
very high ceilings. You can see on the uh, three foot extension on the fan, the drop rod, down rod. Okay. The tile does transition from the green 12 inch to an 18 inch, kind of like a stone colored tile. Here's our washroom. Got some cabinetry. Here's the garage. Let's see if I can find a light. There we go. So it's a, it's a standard two car garage. It's not an oversized. You can see she's got a BMW, looks like about a three series and it's pulling right up to the front and pretty close to the back so you wouldn't be able to get a truck in here but most cars will fit and you've got pull down attic storage let's go to the other bedrooms and then we'll move into the kitchen so down the hallway here's a bedroom That's about a full-size bed. Uh, you know what? It might actually be a queen with a small frame. But pretty standard size bedroom. It's got an angled entry. Just the hallway, if you see it, is kind of a turn, like an angled 45 degree turn into the second bathroom. Towels are in decent shape. Everything's just standard though. And here's a framed mirror, lights are old. Piece of granite, but very low sink. And here's the other bedroom. Someone caught some big bass. Vaulted ceiling. Standard closet. Mirrored doors. Now these carpets are all kind of different. This is like a Berber. And then this carpet is the same carpet that seems to be in the rest of the, the house. All right, here we are into the kitchen. We've got granite tops, nice backsplash, wooden cabinets. Standard pantry. Stainless appliances. The appliances all match, they're all LG. They look like they're in great condition. <clears throat> Backsplash is glass, stainless steel, and stone. And there's underlighting, which is nice. Large sink. Got pendant lighting. Very, very clean house. I will say she takes exceptional care of her home. So we've got double doors, French doors that go out here. She's made this into a kind of a breakfast seating area and sliders also. This is your second family room. And 
wood burning fireplace. Very nice views. All right, let's head outside. So we've got some pavers. And this area is covered, so we're under cover, and it's, it's a good size. <clears throat> you can see where the covered area is. And it's enough room for a nice table and chairs. Then the pavers transition to the cool deck on the pool. Beautiful backyard. It's got a lot of water features under the bird cage. The deck's in great shape. Pool surface looks really nice. Yeah, this looks to be in great condition. Got a little planter in the back. Let's go take a look in the yard. So here's one side of the home. It's got, looks like a new wooden fence. The whole yard is fenced. It's a really good size. I think this is a third of an acre. Good size yard. Let's walk around the back. You've got some nice privacy tree cover here. The whole thing's fenced in nicely. <laughs> they even went around this tree with a fence. And then here's the other side. It's about the same. Same amount of yard on both sides. You got double, a double gate entry here, which is nice if you want to bring a jet ski or a small boat in here. Pool equipment. So it looks like she has a heater also, which is nice. So you can have a heated jacuzzi. And I see a turbo cell. So I'll ask you if that's working. She's actually home. But it looks like it's a salt pool, which is fantastic. All right. Let us know what you think. Beautiful home. I'll talk to you later. Oh, it's so hot, I feel like jumping in. I'm gonna ask the owner, see if she'll let me. <laughs>